Welcome to the channel, guys. I've got a special guest with me today. What's your name? Who are you again? Owen. Owen, my son. Uh, it's going to be a cool trip. We're doing a flight to Bakersfield, California to look at some onion equipment. It's Friday afternoon and he didn't have school today, right? Nope. He played hooky yesterday too, but I, this will just be on video so everyone knows now. And uh, because I have an extra seat available in the airplane, he's going to come along with me for his first business trip in the airplane, uh -huh. right? That he just said that, right? Are you yeah. excited? Yeah. So we're here, again, we're gonna be going down to uh, Bakersfield. We're gonna look at some onion equipment and then fly up to Los Banos uh, tomorrow morning to check on the onion crop there and then make our way home. So uh, come along and hope you enjoy the flight just as much as we do. And uh, if you do, like and subscribe. We'll see you later. So we are at 14,500 feet. We're going up to flight level 190, just fancy way of saying 19,000 feet. Right now we're flying over the Owyhee Reservoir. You hear us talk about Owyhee Produce. Well, we're, the reef mountains that I'll be flying over today are also the Owyhee Mountains. The Owyhee Project was a CCC project um, completed uh, in the uh, Depression era. Uh, the project was put uh, completed, I believe, in 1933, and it was a prototype for the Hoover Dam. So they, they perfected a lot of the processes, and it's actually about a 300-foot tall uh, concrete arch dam, uh, and we have utilized that water in our valley since, I believe, the first year it filled was 1938. Uh, it's, uh, it's our lifeblood. It's the and that we have been able to take west, uh, the desert west, and turn it into productive agriculture. The cool thing we're flying over right now uh, is Jordan Craters. It's on our left, off the left wing right now. Uh, this is a lava flow that, that was active within the last 100 years, at least last 120 years. This is the most recent lava flow. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that there are uh, active, there's that much active volcanic action in the western U.S. Certainly we know about Yellowstone, right, and we've all heard about that, but right here we have it as well. Really cool place to go visit. Maybe someday we'll out there and, uh, and show you what that looks like. A lot of times the air is unstable. What's happening is it's the, the dew point 
Uh, I'm trying to think of the, the term here. Hold on. Um, the temperature dew point. So it's, it's the point at which the the moisture in the air is turning into uh, a liquid to some extent. So a lot of the time, there's just a little bit of turbulence in the clouds. And now some of the time, there's tons of turbulence. In fact, if we veer off to the right over there, you can see a column cloud. That's a thunderstorm. And so the, uh, as, as the air starts to rise, it just increases and gets faster and faster. So uh, clouds, all they look nice and fluffy and soft, are always a little bumpy, almost or what. It's almost never smooth inside the clouds. To go get Los Banos donuts. So I get Los Banos donuts. I get Los Banos donuts and I make sure that I go to In N Out Burger if I have the ability to do so. Voted best in Los Banos. Well, it's not that big a town. But it's tough. We are in one of our largest onion fields, the most progressed onion field that we have here in California. We farm about 1,200, between 1,200 and 1,400 acres in Idaho and Oregon, and here in California to cover that gap, it takes about 300 acres. So there's 300 acres that are planted, and it's, it's, the planting is done differently. And why is the planting done differently? Well, w when you harvest in the Northwest, when you harvest in Idaho and Oregon, we basically harvest everything at the same time and put it in our storage buildings and then pull from those storage buildings to supply our customers for those eight or nine months. Here in California, this is an intermediate variety or a short day variety onion. And so you can't do that, which you, you're, we're not going to put these onions in storage. We're gonna harvest them and use them within about a week. So the onions that are planted in October, which are these, will be harvested in late May. And then the subsequent plantings will get harvested, packed and shipped after that. And that's probably one of the biggest differences between Idaho, Oregon and the Northwest and, and California. It's also why shipping out of California is, is so challenging. Uh, you, you have to plan even that much better and you have to get everything timed just right so that you don't create gaps and volatility and problems for your customer. This is where we are. Um, we'll be here in 45 days and you'll be able to see harvest and packing. And uh, we were just coming from Bakersfield uh, to, well, we were going from Bakersfield home. We thought it makes sense to stop here and take a look and just check on the crop. Looks really good. También habla español, lo está aprendiendo, tu esfuerzo. Oh, qué bueno. Hay que empujarle poquito no, para que lo hable. Si hay una ventana para sembrar, tenemos que sembrar todo. Se ve bien, eso se ve bien. Levantamos la cebolla como dos semanas antes de cosechar. Para que se seque, o sea, o sea la meta. Pasas la barra primero y después la máquina. Oh, ya te entendí. Pasamos, pasamos, la primera pasada es la, para levantar la cinta, la segunda para arrancar la cebolla y la tercera para hacer la cosecha. Hacer la cosecha. Okay. No se ve bien. Mucho, pues es lo 100 veces mejor que del año pasado. Eso por seguro. Pues yo, yo... En su día de descanso a venir a visitarme. No, pero está bien. 
Ok, Che, mucho gusto saludarte. Ya, igualmente. ¿Cuándo vuelves? Ok, Che. Ok, gracias. Nos vemos. The nav light and the landing light. See, Pedo nav landing. Right? Alternator is in. All the way to 16. Let's do check our flight instruments. Left and right, right? Everything's clear. Forward and backward. Everything's good. All right, so that one's good. On uh, that. Flight Uh huh. The HSI looks good. Go ahead. Flight controls we checked. Everything else is done. I just skipped ahead. I'm sorry. Keep going. One more. and rotate. Hey guys, thanks for coming along on this flight. Uh, I was glad to have Owen with me. It was his first business trip with me, so we got to do a lot of fun things. Uh, if you liked it, you know what to do. Subscribe, follow. 
Come along for the next one. We have lots more to come, and this is just a small taste.